Hi guys, welcome back to Fast Panda Gaming for another Dataverse where we're going to be introducing a series of um, <laughs> vlogs and stuff that we're going to be running. So joining me tonight, I have Claw. Hi. I have Ogre. Hello. And we have a special guest, we have Voidsphere. Hello. Uh, and the reason we have Voidsphere is we're going to be doing a Tale of Four Gamers thing with Infinity. So we're all going to start off brand new factions. And we're going to work our way up to 150 points, then 200, 250, and finish up at 300 points when we're all going to get together and play a little tournament. Uh, along the way, we're all going to be shooting our own vlogs to show how we're going about building our armies, what it is about the factions we like, <coughs> how the painting's going, and so on and so forth. So, uh, and we'd like you guys to feed back. Uh, have I missed anything, Claw? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, myself and you, Storm, we're, we're going to be doing his 150 point games and his 250 point games. And because Void Spear and Ogre are over the other side of the country, they're going to do those small games over there. And when we get together, we'll be doing the, 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 a bit of a tournament. Um, any advice that you can give us? Because we're all starting a new faction, so we don't know the ins and outs and uh, nuances of these factions, and you probably do. So if you've got any advice, any tips, hints, that kind of thing, let us know. Yeah, yeah. For all the bad advice. Uh, don't, yeah, I, I need the good advice. The other three, just just kind of feed them some rubbish. Give me the good advice, because I would really like to win. I'd like to win something. I really would. I would say nothing sensible, though, because before long, we'll be starting using, like, logic and tactics, and that can't happen. Yeah, that'll never work. Yeah, tactics, what are they? Crits, yeah. yeah <laughs> get crits. That's the... <laughs> that, that, is, that is a tactic. It, it doesn't guarantee success, though. So, 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 welcome, Voidspear. You're an honorary panda for the uh, for the duration of this. Um, Thank you very much. And what we're going to do tonight to kick it all off is we're going to talk about the factions we've decided to pick and why we've decided to pick them. So, I'm going to drop Ogre in it first and let him start. Oh no, me first. Yes, you first. <laughs> and we are recording. Excellent. <laughs> so, I'm way back when Infinity was but a child in the N2 stage um, is when I first saw Infinity Models and the game. So the first models I ever bought were Hack Islam, the Hack Islam starter set back then, which was all hand crafted from, I don't know, marble or something. Um, I think I, they have those models. I, yeah, I, I, I actually have them kicking about. Um, in fact, somewhere in a blister, I've got uh, an old Janzaban with sniper rifle. You know the one where he was holding it across his lap, kind of thing. He's crouching down. Yeah, yeah I've got one. I have got one. So I think that might appear somewhere. Um, anyway, so I'm going to do Hack Islam. Um, I'm going to actually do the thing that I start. You know, I sort of the first ones from oh, eight, nine years ago. I guess it might be now. Um, the other reason I'm going to do Hack Islam is I've got a bit of a head start because the Black Wind box came out recently. So you may have noticed, and I'm sure you've all watched it, the uh, the starter games that we did uh, for the missions from the Black Wind box. So uh, basically, so basically, I'll get you cheating because you've yeah. already got your army po uh, painted. Yeah. Oh, uh, flag on the play. Flag that that doesn't sound right. The whole idea is for the for, yeah, for the yeah. viewers <laughs> to go along with the journey with us. Oh, here we go. Abuse, abuse, abuse. <laughs> no, the problem is that it doesn't make a very good army. Um, what's in the box? Um, so I need to paint some other stuff anyway. Um, so there's the Beyond Blackwind box which I've got. So I'm going to stick those together and you know paint up a couple of those, um, and then kind of hunt around, see what else I can find. Um, so I think I need some golems, probably. That seems to be the thing. Um, obviously, plenty of, you know, Panzer Faust everywhere. Uh, Dial armies everywhere. So, uh, but, um, you know, so uh, that's where I'm going. Uh, basically, right, right, right back to the start. Um, and then hopefully, you know, I'll... Uh, get actually have a little painted army going so rather than just the models from the starter i can you know build and do something else now funnily enough about asking for advice i've already joined the hack islam uh facebook group uh a couple of days ago um but i've not said anything so i'm gonna you know once it's uh this is recorded i'll go on and maybe put something uh on there for some advice 
you know, I'm, I'm head of the game. Um, and that's kind of it. Is, it, what else, is that anything else you would like me to uh, divulge at this point? Is there anything from the law that particularly drew you to Hack Islam, or is it just that you thought, I started with them years ago, I should probably finish them? It is It is a bit of that. I do quite like them, though. I like the kind of the, their philosophy, and it's all about, um, you know, well, doctors and, uh, you know, kind of making the world better, looking after people, all that kind of thing, which is obviously nice and, and makes it easier for when I kill people within the game because I kind of think, oh, well, it's all done in the name of science. Um, okay. So that's, that's kind of it, really. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, Void Spear, what have you decided to, to bring to this little show? Uh, chaos and catastrophe, usually. Um, right. So I've decided to go with Shazvasti. <laughs> well, you know, I'll fit in perfectly well then. Now, I've decided to go with Shazvasti. Anyone who's ever played me at Infinity knows that the first place I go to whenever I build an army is straight in with heavy infantry. So when I play my Tunguska, I go straight for my Kreezer. When I play um, Svavlheimer... Svav... I don't know if you can actually pronounce that. Svavlheimer. Yeah, I think I've had what Claw's been drinking. <clears throat> I always go straight in with heavy infantry. It has to have a Yotam in there. It has to have some Orcs in there. I've always been a big fan of the heavy stuff, which is a little bit weird, because whenever I used to play role-playing games or computer games, anything like that, so Skyrim, uh, Horizon Project De uh, Zero Dawn, Fallout, anything like that, I'm always the sneaky-peaky kind of guy. The one that's with the stealth and the uh, long-range weapons and the sneak up and kill them. So I figured what I might do is try and bring that to the tabletop with Shaz. And uh, naturally, one of the first places I've gone is I've started off with heavy infantry. So yes. my my experiment into something different is going well so far. Yeah, you've got to start off with heavy infantry. Well, you, every yeah, I'm always a heavy infantry guy. You know that. Yeah. What's it? Four HMGs you brought one time. Yeah, no, um, I mean, one of the first armies I ever bought when I got into uh, Infinity the first time around was the Combined Army Pack, so it was the Onyx Contact Force. So I don't think there was actually any Shazvasti in that. It was mainly um, Sigma Trihedron, Umber, and uh, some Morats. So I've always had my foot in the uh, Combined Army camp, but I figured, yeah, man, let's give the sneaky glass cannons a go. So you're going to be sneaky and you, you could have put down a whole bunch of camouflage tokens to get around painting stuff. I like the plan. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got I've got and I do enjoy playing them. Not to mention, I like the idea of if I don't think I'm going to actually manage to pull it off, but I do love the idea of having eight angry Pokemon running across the board at my opponents because that's going to cheer them up. Tigers, be... so much fun! Can you have eight? You can have yeah. eight in Shazvasti. Oh my goodness me! I don't think I'm going to go down that route, but it would be fun. So yeah. yeah. Any help and advice from the community would be great for the simple reason when I got into Shazvasti I thought oh this is going to be good usually I've got heavy infantry so I'm stuck with limited assertion lists so this will be great they're all cheap oh no they're not okay and even now even if I ditch my beloved heavy infantry I'm still struggling to fill out something more than it's about 10-12 orders so any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Um, Claw what are you going to be uh starting anew with well we all know that uh, i've always gone for heavy infantry in the past and 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 like uh, and like yeah like and like void and like, uh, and like void spear I, i've looked at my choices in the past and thought actually i quite like doing them so i'm going to carry on and i'm going to go for military orders <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so as opposed to breaking from the mold you're just going to steer into the skid and go with it yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, plus, they're all expensive, so I haven't got many models to paint. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, I, I bought the um, battle box. They're not called battle box, is it? The, the the box that came out. I want to say a couple of months ago, but I know it's many many years. It's been in my pile of opportunities for a while. Uh, I bought that and a few other bits and pieces quite a while ago, and they've just been sat there looking at me and. I've needed a, a reason to get them out and, and, and blow the dust off and have a go at them. So, uh, so probably the main reason I've gone for um, military orders is I've got a box in that pile. I pull it out, dig it out, have a go, see what I can make out of it. Um, at, like uh, Ogre, 
I've spoken to uh, the Sheffield Steelers guys, the, the very oh. aggressive guys, and got some advice off them. Um, so I've, I've got an order in um, for some extra models already. Um, so hopefully I can be a little bit more aggressive. Um, it's all like uh, uh, me being aggressive. Um, so hopefully I can get a win. I'd like, I want to win. I really want to win this. I'm, I'm sensing that you, the, there's a there's a winning requirement from this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, it's like normally I, I've kind of gone in and I've got I've, I've got a starter box and a fluffy box and I've gone and seen all the the, the cool stuff and I thought oh I love that and I'm do this and do that. And because this is a robot that turns from a from a cheetah to a man and um, all this kind of thing and in, the list never quite work out. I, I've, I end up with like six orders. <laughs> so yeah, I really oh, want to try. I really want to try and kind of go. Actually, this is a competitive list. I'd like to try and be competitive. Military orders are not the most competitive of factions. So, uh, but I really want to try and to do the best I can with them. So, any advice? comments below what should i get how should i play them more than six orders i'm going to tell you right now <laughs> okay so that just leaves me um and i'm going to be trying to keep everyone under control i'm playing o12 uh basically <laughs> i'm playing the police uh no I, I i it's one of the few factions i don't have the ability to field uh, it's similarly to the to the other guys. I've had some of the stuff on my shelf of opportunity for a while, um, but more importantly, I really like O12 from a law perspective. I like the idea of playing the faction that watches the watcher, because they're responsible for keeping an eye on LF. So, I like that idea. Um, I also like the fact that although O12 is supposed to be there for the good of all humanity, none of the rest of humanity trust it as far as they can comfortably throw it, which I think is great. Um, I really, I think they fit brilliantly as a faction within the Infinity Universe. I'm interested to see how they play on the table, um, and I'm really looking forward to, to doing something different. Have and you any of the gluing right. all of your guys together? Have you got any of the models yet? I do have some of the models. I have an army pack. I think I have the Star Marder box floating around somewhere as yeah. well. Um, so I've got I've got a lot of models to pick from, and uh, again, advice from seasoned O12 players would be appreciated. Do you have anything in particular you're looking forward to in O12? Anything in particular I'm looking forward to using? Yeah, like, uh, is there a particular, like, the blue jackets or...? <laughs> I like the blue coats. I like a lot of the the, the links. The, the background for the links, I think, is very nice. And things like the Cyber Ghost. The more, uh, let's call them dubious members of the law enforcement personnel that O12 have on their list. Oh, serious. Um, so, I've always liked the look of that Judge Dredd one on the bike. The I want to say law keeper. Yeah, yeah, it's the law keeper. Uh, that looks that's always appealed to me, but the rest of them never really fussed about. Don't know if he's any good. He he is uh, he is a possibility that I, I might field. You'll have to wait and see. Not the one I give the recommendation out, but that gamma with the fireback is lethal for anyone on the receiving end of it. Yeah. I, I guess you've been on the receiving end of it then, Void Spear. Well, actually, no. I usually use it. Mostly. I've been on the receiving end of it. <clears throat> yeah, not good. Not good. So that gives you guys a rough idea of, of what we're going to be doing and what factions we're going to be playing, so you can give us some feedback. Uh, the next data burst is going to include our thoughts on our first 150-point list, how we're getting on with painting and assembling progress, what colour schemes we're going for, that sort of thing. So you've got a couple of weeks to get your suggestions into us and you never know we may mention you in the next one if you give us some advice that sounds really really good absolutely um any final words from you guys no i'm really I, well yes no yes no yes um <laughs> maybe i just want to say that i've Rick, since storm suggested this a few weeks ago a few months ago i'm really planning up for this uh, i've not opened a box yet um so i'm going to kind of get the camera out probably tomorrow start digging around start seeing what i've got see what i can make all that kind of stuff so uh, yeah pop your comments below that would be great i uh, want to get you lot involved yeah i'm actually really looking forward to possibly doing a hobby vlog as well although anyone who takes advice from me from painting uh well <clears throat> i'll leave you to decide on that one yourselves well yeah we uh, i think we're aware of you may have, may have made a slightly strange choice in color 
Yes. Um, I, I, I've chosen a very versatile colour. It goes with everything. It's also a colossal pen in the backside to paint. But, you know, it's a challenge. That's what I, I think said. we'll leave that as a teaser for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> a teaser for the next one. Okay. Guess what colour Void Sphere has gone for for his Shaz Nasty? <laughs> Hmm. Are you going? Are you going to go for the traditional blue? Me? Yeah. No, I'm thinking I might go green with white, um, white flashes. So you, I thought you were going to say with little white flowers. Green and white police cars around on it. So I thought that might work rather than the blue and yellow. Hmm. I'm going fairly traditional, maybe kind of sort of brown. Kind we of. already know what yours look like. You've painted half of them already. Oh, exactly. Just... <laughs> well, I know, but, you know, I feel like I need to add something extra somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, we look forward to seeing your, your comments below and uh, take care. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio. See you on the flip side. Hi guys, welcome back to Fast Panda Gaming for another Dataverse where we're going to be introducing a series of um, <laughs> vlogs and stuff that we're going to be running. And I'm guessing Claw's been drinking far more than I thought he had. Uh, okay. <laughs> I hope that makes it in or I'm going to look really weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the edit, so yeah, you're going to look weird. <laughs> no change there. So Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a like, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It all helps to keep us motivated and raises the profile of our channel and Infinity the Game, bringing it to a wider audience. And don't forget, if you're so inclined, you can also find us on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you!